I'm Brie Bolin, and I love fashion. I'm Sean McClellan, and I can't wait for Battle of the Classes. I'm Hannah Broxman, and I've got this week's Around Campus. I'm Sid, and I've got your What Is That? I'm Tyler Steinberg, and I got this week in your Nothing Sports. I'm Cumulonimbus Charles with your terrifying weekend forecast. These are the big and warning announcements from Friday, October 21st. Good morning, Mepham. Today is Friday, October 21st, day one. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sean, I know you're in the National English Honor Society, but did you know there are other honor societies for other languages? Yes, Bree, I actually did. And you know who knows more about that? Maya Stone. Tell us about it, Maya. Thanks guys, I'm here at the Foreign Language Honor Society induction. This special event recognizes students that demonstrate a high level of skill in world languages. Some requirements these stu students have met are an overall average of 80 or above, be currently enrolled in their language, and be a junior or senior that has compelled level two or higher in the language. Throughout the year, students in this honor society will host many culture, cultural events and do some community service projects. Some events in the past that you might remember are Hispanic Heritage Month, Chinese New Year celebrations, Mardi Gras, and more. For b and I'm Maya Stone. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Maya. Before she taught us all about the induction, we talked about English Honor Society, and to be in the English Honor Society, you have to participate in writing competitions. That's right, Bree. And just for your luck, there's one happening right now. This month's writing competition is based on duality. Submit your best poetry, artwork, and works of literature by the deadline. That's so cool. I would have worked on it with you after school, but I was too busy buying my Battle of the Classes t-shirt. And if you haven't bought yours yet, you definitely should. You can buy your shirts until October 26th with your class advisors. The shirts are $15 and your ticket into the event. You need a shirt to participate in any relay or special event. I definitely need to get mine ASAP. Maybe Monday, but for now, Sid Alicetti has a very important holiday to tell us about that's on Monday. What is that? What is that? What is that? Let's find out. What is that? Hey everyone, it's me Sid with another episode of What Is That? Today's topic is Diwali. Diwali is one of the biggest holidays in Hindu culture. It takes place this Monday the 24th. It is also known as the Festival of Lights. According to Hindu mythology, it is the day Lord Rama and his wife return from a 14-year exile after defeating a demon king. The villagers lit a path for Rama to come home, which explains why it is known as the Festival of Lights. Some ways this holiday is celebrated is with deal lighting, which is a type of candle, as well as prayers, fireworks, gifts, feasts, sweets, decorating homes, and generally just spending time with family. Diwali essentially celebrates the victory of good over evil. What better way to celebrate the sweet taste of victory than with some candy? With that in mind, a World of Difference Club handed out mango-flavored candy this morning as you were all entering the building. Hopefully you got some, so now you know what that was for. That's it from me, and back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Sid. Speaking of holidays, Halloween is coming up, and Halloween means dressing up. Bree, where are you going with this? And dressing up also means a fashion show! My god, I forgot. b and is having a Halloween fashion show on Halloween, of course. If you plan on wearing a costume to school on Halloween, scan the QR code on the screen right now and sign up to be part of the fun in the MEPA Moratorium right after school on Halloween. And of course, you'll be able to see all the fun live right here on the B&B YouTube channel. That sounds absolutely amazing. You will definitely see me participate in. Another awesome event where people get to dress up is Trunk or Treat. And in this week's Around Campus, Hannah Broxmeyer got to sit down with Quinn Schroeder to learn more about this awesome event. Thanks guys, welcome back to Around Campus. Today I'm here with Quinn Schroeder who is part of Student Government and Leadership. So how are you Quinn? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for asking. So what exactly is Trunk or Treat? 
So it's basically where um, everyone goes to the senior lot, like whoever wants to volunteer, you can you use your trunk to decorate and all little elementary school kids come and take like trick or treat basically out of a trunk. That's really cool. So what is the plan for your car? Um, I'm not sure, but I think I have the idea of a rodeo. I can't wait to see that. So when is trunk or treat? October 27th um, from 3.30 to 5. Well, if you guys can't be there, we will be live streaming on BNB, so make sure you tune in. So, and finally, how can people participate? There's flyers around the school with a QR code where you can um, sign up on a Google form. I hope to see you all at Trunk or Treat. Now back to you guys in the studio. Already to see all the creative costumes and car decorations. And if you can't make it, don't worry. B&B &B will be covering the event live. I love when we cover our events and make sure that everyone is always included. Speaking of covering events, let's see what events Tyler Steinberg can cover in this week's sports report. Oh! Let's go! Oh! the Cuccinella to the house! Thanks, guys. A lot has happened this week in the sports world around Mepham, so let's get started. The boys' football team will play Southside this Saturday, looking to increase their record to 6-1. and one. And here's a fun fact for you. If this Pirates team can win out, this will be the best record that they have had since the 1999 season. Wow. This just shows you how dominant they have been this year. Let's hope they can do better in the playoffs, though, than that 99 team who lost in the first round. Now to the first playoff game this season for any Pirates team. The boys' soccer team beat Hewlett 2-1. Goal scorers for the Pirates were Costa Carusis and J.D. Decina. They will move on to play fourth-seeded Plainich today. The girls' soccer team lost to North Shore 5-6 in the first round of the playoffs. Now to volleyball, where the boys lost 3-0 to Elmont Wednesday to fall to 9-5 on the season and will play Levittown District today, where everyone showing up should wear all black to black out the student section. Make sure you support the boys at 645 here at Mepham. The girls' volleyball team played Manhasset last night and will play Belmore JFK on Saturday as they continue to fight for playoff seating. Now, that's all for your boy. For b, &B I'm Tyler Steinberg. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tyler. I had no idea about the record of the football team. And as fall sports are still going on, we should definitely know the weekend forecast to see how the weather will be for the football game this weekend. Oh, oh, s sorry about that. Uh, thanks for getting me up. And, uh, wow. It sure does look like October 31st already. Anywho, you low Nimbus, here's your weekend weather. Today is on pace to be an average October day. Be on the lookout for a low of 46 and a high of 61. Oh, and you're probably going outside for gym class today, so find a way to sneak her up if you haven't already. Tomorrow's looking to be cloudy, so if you're a huge fan of clouds like I am, tomorrow's our big day. I'm getting giddy just at the thought of it. Sunday is going to be rainy. Please, when you get home, you have to get your raincoat and your rain, boat, uh, rain, boots, rain boots and your umbrella so you can have a fighting chance. Even the best of us have had tough times on rainy days. Anyways, there's a hot dog I left on the grill. I've been Cumulonimbus Charles. See you all next week. Thanks, Charles. That looks like awesome weather for the senior game this weekend. Sean, did you forget to order your cap and gown? Oh, Mike, I needed to do that. Thanks, Bree. Uh, no problem. Yeah, that's... That's it for us. <laughs> These have been the BNB morning announcements for Friday, October 21st. Have a great day, Mepham. Okay, so I need help with the costume ideas. Do I go with Peely the banana, or do I, like, go with an uh, inflatable dinosaur? <laughs> something spooky to do next Thursday? Well, come over to this year's Trunk or Treat, where in the senior lot, cars will be parked, candy will be all around, and there's fun for all family and 